May we welcome in uh, Nigel Pack, whoever wants to start. Jackson Snyder, for the first question. Yeah, Nigel, I just want your thoughts on finally getting that first win and what it means to you. Um, it means everything. Um, gets our confidence boosted. Um, the coach is talking about we're going on a win streak. Uh, it's the first win of our win streak. Uh, we want to keep that going, keep that, um, that winning mentality going into Saturday's game. And just, I wanted your thoughts also on the defense tonight. You guys forced 17 turnovers. Just was, was something clicking a little more than it has in the past? I just feel like our, our defensive energy has went up since uh, the first game. We kind of brought that same energy that we came out with with Colorado. And we learned to uh, do that for 40 minutes. And I feel like that's what's going to make us a great team. And then the other side of that is turnovers for you guys. What do you think was leading to some of those for you guys tonight? Um, sometimes I just feel like we, we try to uh, we we're a little too unselfish, um, I, which is a good thing. But also sometimes we got to be a little bit more aggressive and more careful with the ball because uh, as we get farther and further and we start playing with the Big 12 Conference, we got to cut our turnovers down and get our assists up. Thanks, Nigel. Appreciate it. Yep. Sorry, Nigel. Yeah, Next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Nigel, uh, what just kind of happened there after you picked up 17-0 lead to let UMKC back in it? Um, I feel like every team's going to make a run. I mean, it's, it's part of basketball. Every team, any team's going to make a run. It's a game of runs. Um, they made, we came off, we came out, uh, made a good run. They're going to make a run. We just, we just got to keep uh, playing hard. Uh, we want to win every four minutes between media timeouts, and I feel like they had a, they had a good run there, and we just kept it up the whole game. Three games into your college career, where would you assess everything that you've done so far, just on an individual level? Uh, I just think it's a, it's a great start. Um, nowhere near done what I want to accomplish in college. Um, I feel like we, we, we got some things we can work on. I feel like I got some things I can work on individually. Always can improve. But so far, it's a great start. Does the game feel like it's uh, moving slower than maybe you expected after making the jump from high school to college? No, I just had to come in with some confidence and. Um, know that I, I'm a, I'm a good player, and my coaches and my uh, my teammates encouraging me to play to play the way I know how to play, and it kind of makes the game just kind of seem um, like a, like practice kind of because I've been going so hard at practice kind of makes the game feel like practice as well. All right, thanks, Nigel. No problem. Uh, Michael Goins. Nigel, how much confidence do you have in your shot right now, and and where does that confidence uh, kind of stem from? I have a lot of confidence in my shot. Um, just my teammates finding me when I'm open, my coach is telling me to shoot the ball, and then all the extra work that um, I put in over the summer and before the preseason and still putting in to uh, get up extra shots. So I just feel like that's where the confidence comes from. What kind of what kind of work is that involved, and in, uh, where have you done it? At the training facility as well as uh, when you're in home in Indiana? Yeah, home in Indiana really started it. Um, just doing my, my daily routines of, you know, getting up shots every day, um, coming off our, our, our motion actions, getting up repetition over repetition, um, which kind of makes me um, used to all the shots that I'm putting up, kind of like practice again. Thank you, Nigel. Uh, Jackson Snyder. Yeah, Nigel, Michael's question just kind of brought something up for me. You're, you're from Indianapolis, you know, and then the game with Butler uh, just got postponed. I, I just – wanted your thoughts on if that was a little disappointing that you don't get to go home and play uh, in front of maybe your friends or family and play close to home like that, or, or if that was something that you'd thought much about. Um, it it kind of is disappointing. Um, it's kind of upsetting. Uh, talking to my parents, even uh, last week with the, with the uh, tournament, we were talking about um, the, the Butler game coming up and all my family was going to come down to town. This is a team you play. It kind of sucks to not have them, but um, at least they're putting our, our health above everything. So that kind of makes us feel special. Um, hopefully they'll be able to postpone the game. Maybe we'll have to, we can reschedule it for another time. But um, it sucks, but it's life. So I got to get through it. 